what's up, my friend? You gotta feel it, my friend. Welcome to this amazing day, my friend. Listen, I wish I could take it from outside of me and just give it to you, my friend. But God said, no, use your words, use your similes, your metaphors, your gestures, everything that you got to bring the message home, my friend. So here I am. I feel super duper amazing today, my friend. And you should too, my friend. It's something that's flowing through me, my friend. I wish you could feel it, my friend. Because if you could feel it, my friend, it would be no more procrastination. If you could feel it, my friend, it would be no more fear, my friend. If you could feel it, my friend, it would, it would be no more compromising, my friend. Zero percent compromising on your value, right? Listen, I got one question for you, my friend. Did you put on your amazing today? See, there's nothing wrong with amazing, my friend. Here's the thing. Amazing. It's available and accessible to you, me, and everybody, my friend. So did you put on your amazing today? See, that's your first and primary responsibility, my friend. You got to put on your amazing. I mean, if nothing else, amazing is available. It's accessible to us all. So what's wrong with you not putting on your amazing, my friend? The very thing that you want, the very, uh, uh, what you want to display, who you are, everything is right in your amazing. Your ability to discern the enemy, your ability to see the forest through the trees, your ability to be confident and bold in every situation, it all lies. And you're amazing, my friend, and here's why. Because we all got to first get uncomfortable in order to get comfortable. Life is set up that way. So what are you sacrificing each day so that you can win the day? Make sure you put on your amazing because that becomes your sacrifice to get the W, my friend. And we're going to continue with the same thing we've been doing each and every day in 2023. Right? Because I heard that New Year's resolution. Yeah, I heard you. I even felt you. You meant that. It came from deep, deep within here, my friend. You really meant that. You said 2023 is the year for you and the year for me. You said I'm going to win this year. And I am here to ensure that that happens, my friend. Right? So here's the thing. I really love something I heard from C.D. Jakes years ago. He said, when you're approaching purpose, you don't got to worry about no one else. Because when you're approaching purpose, you're so focused on hitting your mark, hitting your mark of purpose, that your body takes on the form of an arrow. So your head becomes a point and your head is headed right towards your purpose. So anything or anyone that's not associated with your purpose directly they fall off because they can't hold on anymore because your shoulders slant down. Remember, your head becomes an arrow. Your entire body is an arrow. So whoever is not connected to that point that's hitting your purpose, they fall off, my friend. And today's message is, again, it's another tool to help you to win in 2023. We already won six of the way done, my friend. The time is now, right? Here's another tool you got to add to your toolbox, and this is a biggie. This is where most people fall victim. This is why most people get incarcerated. This is why most people die too early. Because they're around the wrong people. They're sharing their energy with the wrong people. And what you got to understand is that on this journey, if you really want to win in 2023, there can be no conditional friends. Not at all. No conditional friends. Let me explain, right? So you got to beware of the conditional friends, right? Be because once that condition, whatever it may be, once that condition is no longer being met, you become nothing more than an enemy in their eyes. In other words, once they can't use you no more for your notoriety, once they can't use you or freeload off your money, once they can't use you for your energy, once they can't look good around you because you got that thing, that thing that they call it, once that condition is no longer being met, you're nothing more than an enemy in their eyes, my friend. But as you got to understand, see, see, unconditional friends, right? See, real friends are unconditional. 
True friends are unconditional. It doesn't matter the condition that they're in or you're in. They always got your best interest at heart, my friend. You got to know the difference. How you going to know the difference if you don't put on your amazing, that's what's going to help you to see all the angles, my friend. That helps you put your forward body armor on so you can stand firm against the wiles of the enemy. Who you think conditional friends are? They're the enemy. They're, they're, they're wolf dressed up in sheep clothing. They're acting like they're your friend, but they're really not. They want to see nothing more than you fall, my friend. So there's three reasons why you got to beware of the conditional friends, right? Number one, here's the thing. This is the confusing part. See, conditional friends will still cheer for your victories. See, they'll still cheer for your victories. I know what you're asking. If they're not really my friend, why should they want to see me win? They really don't want to see you win. They're only cheering for your victory because they think they can benefit off of the rewards, my friend. Remember, they're only close to you for whatever that condition is. But once, so they're going to cheer for you. They're almost like a D-back in football, right? They stay real close to you and you think they're your friend, but really they're waiting to pick off that reward. They want to intercept your progress. They want to intercept your reward. They want to intercept that gift that you have because they want it for them. That's the condition in which they stay around you for. That's it. They don't really like you. They don't love you. It's all about the condition, right? And number two, this you got to understand. See, unconditional friends, true friends, they always want to see you win. It's not about the condition that they're in or that you're in. Even if they themselves are losing, they still want to see you win more than anything else, my friend. Stay close to them. The unconditional friends, it's not about any condition. It's genuine. They genuinely love you for who you are, my friend. That's who you want to associate with. That's what's going to help you to get to the bag. That's what's going to bring out the best in you, my friend. And number three, here's the thing. You got to develop a greatness mindset. A mind bold enough to believe, right? They're true friends. Unconditional friends, right? Real friends. They respect you. They appreciate you. They adore you. They look out for you. They care about you. And as a result, my friend, they eventually become family, my friend. Did I tell you I feel super duper amazing today, my friend? I feel like I can lift up the world, my friend. Whatever you do, no conditional friends, my friend. I sure wish I can give you what I'm feeling on the inside, but I got to use my words. I got to do these videos, but a time is coming, my friend. A time is In fact, the time is here. Not just for me, for you too, my friend. And you got to be bold enough to win. In 2023, you got to be bold enough to proclaim who you are. You got to draw a line in the sand and show the world who you are, my friend, because you know what? who you are. You were born to be great.